Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about why I have a stock X Max, why I haven't upgraded it, and why I have not really done anything to it other than reinforce the body. I'm also gonna talk about why I do not run these big heavy tires on my X Max. I see people asking all the time, what kind of upgrade should I do to my X Max? Like, they would get it like the very first day and come onto the forums and be like, what should I upgrade? What should I upgrade? And they'll start buying all kinds of stuff for it and everything else. And I don't really think it's necessary for the X Max. I'm going to explain my reasoning behind it. Also, this is the second time I recorded the video because I wasn't happy with it the first time. I recorded this video over the weekend when I tore the shed down. By the way, you haven't seen that video, go check it out. The X-Max takes a shed down, which was amazing, it's fantastic. But I didn't like how that video came out when I was editing it, so I'm gonna redo it today and hopefully it comes off a lot better for you guys. Before I get into the X-Max, I need to explain a few things so you understand my reasoning, right? So there's two cycles that people get themselves caught up into. Basically what they would do, they'll upgrade the power in their RC, they'll upgrade the power in the X-Max. And when they do that, they start breaking things. When they start breaking things, they start upgrading things. And when you reinforce stuff on the RC car, you're basically just adding more weight to it. As you add more weight, you reduce the performance, so you gotta add more power. Then you gotta add more weight. Then you gotta add more power. You gotta add more weight. And you're just going back and forth forever. And that's just like a, a never ending cycle. And I see people get caught up in that cycle all the time. The second cycle they get caught up into is where they will upgrade the power and then they'll start They'll break apart on the RC car. They will upgrade that part and they start breaking a different part. So they'll upgrade that part and then they'll break another part. And they are just chasing whatever the weak point is in the RC car as they are upgrading things. And it's like a, a nonstop cycle. I see people get caught up in that all the time. And I don't, I don't like those two cycles. I don't want to be caught up into those. I almost did one time with my E-Revo, my, my first one, my brushless edition. I was almost in that cycle and I, <laughs> I got myself out of it. But if you like doing that, if you like chasing that weak point, great that's fine you can do that i'm not one of those people i like to have an rc car that does not break i don't think there's a better example out there of this cycle than the erivo and the erivo 2.0 this is a brushless edition when the erivo first came out it was a 30 mile an hour brushed rc and then traction decided to put a brushless motor in there and lipo batteries and it made it into a beast it ran like 65 miles an hour right it would just tear itself apart because it had so much power it would tear the tires apart the drive shafts the differentials it was just <laughs> spur gears it would eat the entire drivetrain it was just too much power for the way this thing was engineered. And so Traxxas went back to the drawing board and they gave us the Erevo 2.0. This thing has got several more pounds of plastic and metal on it. It is upgraded. It's got super heavy differentials in this thing. It's got steel drive shafts. You can see it does the, the drive cups on it instead of the U-joints, the plastic U-joints. This thing is an absolute beast. The two things they did not upgrade, uh, well, I mean two things they did not upgrade they should have were the servos You can see I got different servos on there because the stock servos are too weak for how much weight this thing has and they they die They burn out something else. I did not upgrade was the shocks even though they are aluminum The plastic and the shock ends are the same and that is why I have these straps because it was too much weight and it was literally pulling the shocks apart <laughs> it just was not designed for that kind of weight and I think that is just it's just super interesting to me that that we have the Erevo. I don't know of any other RC that is like the Erevo where they, they added so much power they had to go back and redesign it. That's just super interesting to me. And it's cool to see that a company got caught up in that same cycle that, that we do as, you know, uh, you know, fans of the hobby and everything. But uh, it's, I think that's super interesting and it really demonstrates how you can caught up in that cycle and how you can trap yourself into just chasing whatever the weak point is in your RC car. Now we get to the X-Max. And this thing, you see, I cleaned it up from making the video. And all I've done is clean it since I tore that shed down. And it spent the night in the house. And as you see, you know, nothing in here is broken. Look at that. The suspension, everything's fine. All the, the drive components seem to be fine. I've already checked the gears and everything else. They seem to be fine. I mean, the tires are, are I didn't use them to tear down the shed, but the tires are still holding up strong. This thing is just, it's, it's a beast the way it is. I don't think it needs to be upgraded at all. I think when you upgrade it, you add more weight and you're going to cause more problems for this thing. I don't see, I just don't see a reason in it. I don't see a reason in it. It's fast enough as it is. It's strong enough as it is. This thing is just so, so strong. I mean, if you have not seen my videos of what I've done to this thing, I have tore furniture apart with it. I tore the shed down with it. I went through a bunch of boards with it. I have launched it off my ramp super, super high. It doesn't break. 
However, my friend that does have these tires right here, these Badlands, every time we go out driving, okay, one time he didn't break his X-Max. All the other times he has broken his, his breaking. I don't know how to, how to speak right now. He has broken his X-Max like every single time. Uh, twice he did it within like a minute of us running. Like I even have it on video. He goes off, does one jump, it lands on the wheel and it, it breaks the wheel off of the X-Max. And uh, I think it was just too much weight. Cause thing has gotta be like 25 or 26 pounds with those tires on there. And he just, cause they're like twice as heavy. They're twice as heavy as the stock, stock wheels and tires. And when he came down on that one wheel, it was just too much weight and just snapped it right off. And then I've seen him drive, you know, in other places where he would like clip something like with one of his wheels, just barely clip it. And it would just snap it right off. It's just too much weight for the X-Max. And I mean, the, the, I just think that when you are adding that much weight to the X-Max, it really just diminishes how strong it actually is. And there's the stock spur and pinion. As you see, they are perfectly fine. I'm gonna put batteries in this thing and drive around the stock tires for a bit. I'm gonna show you a few things on it and then we're gonna swap out for those Badlands. I'm gonna drive around that so you can see the difference in it. And I'm gonna you know, demonstrate a few things and hopefully you'll be able to see why I don't run those, those tires because there's a drastic difference in the performance of this thing when you swap those tires out. By the way, if you're enjoying my content, be sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that subscription button down there, like the video if you like it, share it, I appreciate it. It helps the channel out, but let's go ahead and get this thing running. All right, the stock tires. So you see it's got plenty of power. It can just pick the wheels up. And I know people complain about the, uh, what do you call it? The ballooning of the wheels, the tires. So, but you start putting heavier tires on there to stop the ballooning, you're gonna add weight to it. Just have control of it. You don't have to worry about the tires blowing apart. So there's this little maneuver I like you do in turns. Let's see. So you see how it turned like that? This is a maneuver that is very difficult to do when you start putting heavier tires on there. I'll show you in a minute. But all I'm doing is I'm turning it and I'm hitting the brakes. And it does like this. And I use this for stuff all the time. Like when I'm driving. And that's how I turn it around like that. So the maneuver, I like to do it over here, where I will come around like that. And come around that tree. I'm trying not to tear it up. Let's see. Like that. And go ahead and get into the air and show you that uh so that was kind of a full throttle burst just so you can see how much it moves in the air with those tires so not a whole lot i can't get mine to a backflip i know people can do backflips in these things so mine's not set up for it Nope. <laughs> it just will not spin in the air. Maybe if I hit this with enough speed, I'd have the height for it, but you know, I'm not doing that. Woo. It sent out across the yard a few times. I mean, why does this thing need upgrades? I don't think it really needs upgrades. <laughs> now we got the Badlands on there. Heavy, heavy tires. They're twice as heavy as the stock tires. See how fast it picked that front end up? And you notice they don't balloon either. They have such great traction. They really do grip. Is 
they don't balloon at all. They're beadlock, of course. Now, see, that's what happens when we hit the brakes with the Badlands. That little turn I like to do. Uh. So, come on. That turn, you see, it doesn't do it quite as well with the Badlands. As I'm sitting here editing this video, what I notice is that it looks like I am just driving the X-Max up and I'm hitting the brakes and I'm not turning the wheels at all. That's not what is happening. I am turning the wheels as far as they will go. The X-Max just does not have the power in the servo to turn those heavy, heavy Badlands. Every time I do this maneuver, I am turning the wheel as far as it will go and it just is not turning those wheels. It, maybe the traction has something to do with it too, but just know that the stock servo that comes in the X-Max does not have the power to turn these Badlands. You see how it doesn't turn quite? As sideways and also when you try to do it out here on the grass it, it really wants to pick that rear end up like that so I had to come off the brakes very soon with that yeah see you got to come off the brakes really early if you don't it, it will just nose right on over it just does not turn see it really wants to do that of course, that's not just because the tires are heavier. It's because the, uh, the, the traction is so good on the Badlands. Let's see, I'm kind of nervous doing this. <laughs> yeah, see, it's not turning enough for me to, to gun it out of that turn. See, it just, it, it barely even comes close to doing it. Did that little maneuver. I just, I just can't do it anymore with these tires. Those tires also really tear the yard up. So let's... It seems like it moves about the same in the air. I can't really tell the difference. That was a... Uh, Pretty much full throttle bursting right then. You can tell it's heavier when it hits. Woo. Look at that hole in the yard. Come on, you guys enjoying this video, give me a like for, for digging my yard up. You can see where I land on my RC cars. There's just, <laughs> it kills all the grass right here. <laughs> in the summertime, it doesn't look so bad, but in the wintertime, it really looks bad. I don't know how well you can tell. You can see all this right here. The grass is gone. You can see where I was pulling down the shed. <laughs> this is where the X-Max was, was pulling at, and all the grass is just dead, which doesn't matter. All this is going to be dirt anyways, but <laughs> that's wild that it did it. Something else I noticed about these heavy tires is I don't know why it does this, but it will it will just start rolling. I'm not pulling the trigger. It's just it doesn't do it with other tires. I noticed this all day when I was uh, making the other video, and I put my other tires on there and tested it. It wasn't doing it, but then when I put the Badlands on it, it does it. I'm not sure what's going on. I don't know exactly why it's doing that. It doesn't do it all the time. There it is, doing it again. But it's only when it has the Badlands on it. I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, I don't know if they are just... I have no idea. I have no idea. I'm, I'm completely lost. As you can see, the X-Max as a stock RC is a fantastic truck. It doesn't need any upgrades. I mean, really, why would I upgrade it? I've had this thing for two years. I bought it in February of 2019. And you've seen my videos. I have smashed it into stuff. I have broken boards with it. I've broken furniture with it. I tore down a shit. It took a beating. I mean, I spent an hour yesterday just you know, jerking that building down with the X-Max and it was landing on the roof constantly and it was just throwing itself in the air and I didn't break anything. I didn't break anything at all. I have not had any issues out of this thing and honestly, I'm not that rough on it whenever I am just driving it around. Uh, in my videos, I'm rougher than what I am normally. Normally, I just come out here and I have fun with it. Pretty much the way you saw me drive it today, that's about as rough as I get. I don't sit there and slam it. I'm not trying to break it. You see other YouTubers, I think 
I think what happens is people see other YouTubers take these things out and they just break them in half. They tear them up on purpose so they can get million view videos. And people, they, they see that and they're like, man, I need to upgrade my X Max so it doesn't fall apart like theirs does. And I think that's really not giving the X Max, like, I think it's not fair to the X Max. This thing's a super durable truck. I mean, this thing is, is crazy, crazy tough. This thing is absolutely a beast. This is the original body. Look, I still have the original body on this thing. And it is broken back here. Uh, right there and I have you know reinforced it and everything but you know it's held up pretty well I mean you saw what I did to it well not yesterday but Saturday with the shed it's held up great I I don't know why you would upgrade it it's fast enough has plenty of power when you upgrade it or upgrade it you're putting more weight into it when you put more weight into it you're going to start breaking things I think that's why it's so durable because it is lightweight I know it's 22 pounds, that's not lightweight, but for what it is, for its engineering, for the parts it's made out of, for the materials made out of, that is lightweight. I really like the stock tires. I know they're not as grippy as something like the Badlands. They're they're kind of, you know, a, a general all-purpose tire. And if you take it to the track, it slides around. I took it to the track and if you're on hard dirt, it slides around. So it's not great for that, but for like grass, dirt, you know, general use. The stock tires are great. I like that they have the perfect amount of slip, the perfect amount of grip, at least for me. I like how it controls. It makes the X-Max feel a lot more agile than what it is. It's a big truck, you know? It, it, you have to really know how to maneuver it around. I find it very difficult to slide it around with, you know, something like the Badlands on there. And I actually drove, you know, Trey's back in the day when he had the Badlands on his out here in my backyard. And I remember trying to, you know, slide around turns and it wouldn't slide around my track. I, have, I did have a track back there in my backyard. It's growing up now. Uh, cause you know, a storm came through and covered it all up. But anyways, I was going around turns with his X max and it was just rolling over cause it has so much traction. So, you know, I don't, I don't like grippy tires like that. Not for the kind of driving that I do. If you do great, but that's just, you know, different people like different things. And for me, I think adding the weight is just too much of a negative to the X max. That, that's just, that's my opinion. That's how I feel. But anyways, that's, that's, that's why i have a stock x max if you want to upgrade your x max you can i don't think it needs it i don't think it needs it i think if you're just an average everyday person out there just driving having fun and not trying to tear it apart like other youtubers i don't think you need to upgrade this thing at all i think they are not actually upgrades i think they are downgrades because they diminish the structural integrity of the x max but anyways <laughs> that's all i got for you today guys thank you so much for watching subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed like the video if you like it uh share the video i got a patreon down there if you want to support the channel but that's all i got for you Hey guys, thank you so much and I will see you guys later.